another big story tonight. It is raining in the east from Florida to upstate New York. This follows a system that brought floods this week to at least nine states in the Midwest and the Deep South. Rivers rose to record levels in Missouri, Illinois, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, where residents are assessing the damage. Tonight, parts of southern Missouri seen towns entirely underwater. Wow, this is my bank. Another round of storms bringing more heavy rain to the flood soak region. The road's gone. These before and after pictures show the extent of the record flooding in Missouri. Soggy weather has wreaked havoc elsewhere too. In Pocahontas, Arkansas, a levee break early this morning, leading to a flash flood emergency. This town of 6,400 told to seek higher ground. Oh my God, oh my God. And southern Louisiana pounded by heavy rain today and dangerous hail. This is just some more of the very sad devastation out here. In southeast Colorado, seven foot high snowdrifts buried cattle over the weekend. The number of deaths are adding up as the snow melts. And toppled acre after acre of wheat crop. You can just see it smashed down to the ground. A third of rancher Justin Wilhite's cattle died in the storm, which dumped up to 30 inches of snow in Prowers and Baca counties. The devastation is being compared to the blizzard of 2007, one of the worst snowstorms in Colorado history. The Houston Audubon Society believes last night's bad weather likely forced the flock lower to the ground, and they say bright building lights can disorient the birds, a combination that caused the feathered creatures to take their final flight right into this 23-story tower. Thousands of Canadians are struggling to save their homes tonight. The extent of the flooding in parts of eastern Canada is worse than anyone expected. In the nation's capital, the Ottawa River is raging right behind Parliament Hill. The water is so dangerously close to bridges that civil servants who commute to work over them were told to stay home. In Quebec, rivers have engulfed towns. Rescuers are searching for a father and child washed away in a car. 146 Quebec municipalities are affected. States of emergency are in place, and the Army has been called in to help. Nearly 3,000 homes are affected across Quebec and Ontario. In Oka, City Hall is flooded, and the town's pumping station is no longer working. 3,000 residents could soon be forced to leave. In Laval, at least 150 homes now have water damage. And in Pierrefonds, 175 homes are now flooded, because last night three dikes were washed out after the water rose by another 10 centimeters. The now familiar refrain here is once again, we've never seen anything like it. Several towns have now declared a state of emergency and for the first time since the ice storm, now the mayor of Montreal has as well, meaning officials can now force flood victims to leave their homes. Thousands of acres of forest burn in a wildfire on the Florida-Georgia line. 
Crews are fighting the flames from the ground and in the air. A lightning strike sparked the fire in early April. Now dozens of families are evacuating as the flames get dangerously close to their homes. We now have Tropical Storm Adrian. This is the earliest Eastern Pacific storm, and it's the first one of the season, which, by the way, begins May 15th. Now, the last time we saw an early storm was back in 1990, and that was Alma. So this is breaking all sorts of records, and we could even see it break one more because this is likely to become a hurricane overnight Thursday. So this would be the earliest hurricane we've had on record. Eight people have died in more than 20 were injured after an earthquake hit China's Xinjiang region. The magnitude 5.5 quake shook a town near the border with Tajikistan. It was followed by a five, magnitude 5 aftershock. More than 180 houses collapsed. Rescue workers are checking the buildings for survivors. Spring runoff encompassing the valley. Record snowfall. Melting into 360 degree views of waterfalls with a capacity now the strongest in years.
جارفه يا رجال سيول جارفه ما شاء الله تبارك I saw him a long time ago. Tab on nag. Scare me that guy.
chaotic scenes as residents are pulled to safety from flooded homes in Sri Lanka on Monday as the death toll from the rampant flooding climbs above 150. It's the worst natural disaster the country has seen in more than a decade. Nearly half a million people have been displaced from their homes and over a hundred are still missing.